Hi everybody, I'm Tracy McClung and I'm the Public Affairs Officer here at Munson Army Health Center and I'm going to have you introduce yourself. Okay, no problem. My name is Rhonda Sterner and I'm the Senior Military Health Program Manager for Secure Messaging. And uh, we have a couple questions uh, for you, Rhonda. I, first of all, how would you enroll in Secure Messaging? If I'm a new patient here and, and it sounds really great, how do I go about enrolling? So for secure messaging, which is the online communication between patients and their care team, mm -hmm. um, there are two ways to actually get enrolled. One, if you're the patient and you want to go ahead and take charge of getting enrolled, you can go ahead and go to tolsecuremessaging.com mm -hmm. and then you can click register, which is right beneath our light blue sign in button. Mm -hmm. And it will ask you, you know, for your information. Mm -hmm. um, nothing. Just very typical of what a regular registering for a website is. Mm -hmm. And then what you would do is you would finish registration and you would click a button that says add provider. Oh. And then you would search for your primary care physician. Mm -hmm. Primary care physician that you are assigned to. That message will go over to the clinic. The clinic will validate that you are a patient there and assigned to that provider and they will accept you. The other way to do it is the clinic you may experience the clinic will invite you and you will get an invite from them saying that your clinic would like you to join. Um, your basic information is filled out. You just have to create a security question and answer our terms of use and create a username and password. And then you accept it and then you're both connected. Well, that's great. Now, what happens when I PCS from here? Do I have to go through the enrollment process again? or? How do, I, how do I continue using uh, secure messaging? So the best way you do not have to create a brand new oh, that's account, great. which is great. It follows you wherever you go. The best thing to do is that once you report to your new duty station, to connect to your provider there. And then what you can do, because you're no longer getting care at your previous duty station, just go ahead and deactiv deactivate that relationship. Because oh, now okay. you have a new relationship with your new provider. Well, that's great. Yeah. So it's pretty easy. It is very easy. All right. Thanks for joining us today.